Here are your presenters, Galang Cedric, Manalili Kevin, and Pinlak Kai. Dynamics of Rigid Bodies is a two-unit course being taken by civil engineering students of Don Honorio Ventura State University. For this lesson, we are going to tackle kinematics as part of our engineering mechanics subject. First, what is kinematics? Kinematics is a branch of physics and a subdivision of classical mechanics concerned with geometrically possible motion of a body or a system of bodies without consideration of the forces involved Example, causes and effects of the motions. Kinematics aims to provide a description of the spatial position of body or systems, of materials, particles, and the rate of which the particles are moving, or what we call velocity, and the rate at which their velocity is changing, or their acceleration. For sample problem number one, an engineer is designing the runway for an airport. Of the planes that will use the airport, the lowest acceleration rate is likely to 3 meter per second squared. The takeoff speed for this plane will be 65 meter per second. Assuming this minimum acceleration, what is the minimum allowed length for the runway? We will be using the Gressa method in answering the question or the given required equation, solution, and answer. The given for this problem are the initial velocity is equal to 0 meter per second, the final velocity is equal to 65 meter per second. And the acceleration is equal to 3 meter per second squared. The required is the minimum allowed length or the distance for the runway. The equation we used is the final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance. For the solution, we can substitute the given to the equation. The final velocity is 65. 65 squared is 4,225 meters squared se per second squared. Sequels to since the initial velocity is zero, we can cancel it out. Plus 2 times the acceleration, which is 3 meter per second squared, times the distance. 4,225 meters squared per second squared sequels to 2 times 3 sequels to 6 meters per second squared times the distance. We can divide both sides by 6 meter per second squared to get the distance. Distance equals to 4,225 meters squared per second squared over 6 meter per second squared. Distance equals to 704 meters. So the answer is 704 meters. Sample problem number 2. A rock is thrown straight up and reaches a height of 10 meters what is the initial velocity of the rock? The given values are height which, which is denoted by letter H, is equals to 10 meters, highest point of velocity or the final velocity is equals to 0, and the gravity which is equals to negative 9.81 meter per second squared. The value that we're trying to find is the initial velocity of the rock. So the equation that we're going to use is final velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times the gravity times the height. So solving this problem, we're now going to substitute the given values to the equation. 0 squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus 2 times the gravity which is negative 9.81 times 10 which is the height. So now we have a initial velocity squared of 196.2. Square rooting this equation, we're now leading to a initial velocity of 14.0 meter per second. So the initial velocity of the rock is 14.0 meter per second. So that's the final answer for this sample problem number two. So that's all. Please accept our gratitude for lending us your time. We hope you learned something about this video.